now. So now there is some more uh, relationship advice or more of something that we could debate about. And I love this, okay? Because I want to know your real true opinion. You don't got to agree and I don't got to agree with each other. We can agree to disagree, but I want to hear your opinion about this. Okay, so rapper Dream Doll, who's representing New York City right now, I think she's doing a great job. I really think she got next. I think that she's going to be like the next person in here or whatever like that, like to blow up. So she said, Dream Doll said, she wants to know, do you guys go half on the rent was it, when in a relationship? So basically, she's like, oh, you're in a relationship. You ain't supposed to be paying half of your rent. So there was so many different comments on the blogs about this half rent stuff. So I'm going to ask you guys in the comments, if you are with a man, living with a man, right? Do you pay half of your rent? And then we're going to, and then I'm going to say my opinion. Put it in the comments if you saying, Yes, T, I pay half of my rent. No, T, I don't pay I'm half my rent. I might pay all my rent. No, T, let's hear, let's see where everybody's mind is at. If you feel like sharing, because no answer is a wrong answer. But you, when you are living with a man, we're going to talk about that this Friday. My mother said, no. Shout out to P Styles 512. That's my mom. She said, no. Do you guys pay half of the rent? Don't just try to sound sexy because I know y'all listening to Coach Cooch in the morning. Y'all want to make sure y'all not looking crazy. But put it in the comments. Do you guys pay half of your rent when you are living with a man? Um, Singer Queen, who she's just as dizzy as they come. She was like, oh, I, I, I like to pay half my rent because um, I like to pay half my rent because... Um, he can't, he can't kick me out if I'm paying half of my rent. Some people are saying half. Some people are saying nope. Some people are saying yes. Some people are saying so. Some of y'all are saying yes, y'all pay half your rent. Some people are saying hell no. Oh, man. Absolutely not, k Shell 28 said. And somebody said, Live 2008 said, I don't pay rent. <laughs> or Live 2008, I don't pay rent. <laughs> oh, man, I don't pay no bills. But I'm married for 50 years and together for 22 years. Okay, okay. We did before we got married. After we got married, he pays the rent. All right, so here's what Coach Cooch got to say about that. Because I like bringing up these type of... I like to bring up these type of issues when it comes down to male and female or, you know, relationships in general where we're living e with each other. First of all, y'all yeah, know I'm not a fan of boyfriend and girlfriends living together anyway. I just think that is just not sexy. I only man I've lived with was my husband, and I would never live with another man again in life, okay? So that's number one. Number two, if you are living with a man, this is especially for my young girls, you know, my young chicks watching, you're not supposed to pay the rent. Okay, you're not supposed to pay none of the rent, not half, not some. You're not supposed to pay the rent. Your bills are, this is how it's supposed to go, okay? He's supposed to pay the rent, and you could pay, like, the bills. Like, you could pay, like, <clears throat> the light bill, the gas bill. You might even want to throw in water for $130 a month. But he's supposed to pay the rent. Let me explain why. Because when you live with these men... You got a sonky, you got the funky, you got to get everything together, you got to do this, you got to do that. It's every time, like I told you before, you fall asleep and you live with your man, there's a dick in your face, so you're not supposed to pay half the bills. If you got to pay half of the rent, you need a motherfucking roommate. You don't need to be living with no man and you paying all of your rent, all right? Coach Cooch said it, and I'm here to represent it, and I'm not going to change my motherfucking mind. You are not supposed to be paying the rent. These men want to walk around like Kang Dangalang in these houses. They want to tell you this, tell you that, tell you how they want their household to be. So if you got all these rules and regulations, your ass supposed to be paying the bills. I don't think, and then for the ones that say they do pay half their rent, you can say what you want, but you know damn well that you ain't supposed to be paying half that rent, and you know damn well you ain't got no respect for that motherfucker, and he making you pay half the rent. So if you paying half the rent, are y'all going? Are y'all splitting the bills all the way down the motherfucking middle? Cause that sound like a roommate to me. I'm not gonna be sucky and fucky and doing this and doing that. I gotta cook. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta be playing house. 
playing cow games. You know, why buy the milk if you got the cow for free? So I'm playing cow games and I got to pay half of my motherfucking rent. Are you crazy? That's just like chicks that be up there paying for dates and stuff like that. I'm like, if you had to pay for that date, you should have went out with your mama. You should have went out with your sister. You should have went out with your best friend. I'm not doing all that just to go out with no motherfucking man. That is out. And let me tell you something. Granted, now, I'm not saying like, when times get hard, you ain't supposed to pay none of the bills. That's different. Times get hard, you're going to have to pick up where he's slacking. But we talking about on a regular day, a regular, regular day, you're not supposed to be paying the rent, okay? You got too many responsibilities to be sitting there paying the rent. And then I got to start to look at you. If I'm paying half the rent, I got to start to look at you like, what are you really here for? What are you really with me for? Are you with me because I pay half of the rent? Because then, you know, guess what? When he leave your ass sitting there, he going to go and pay the next bitch rent. And you know what he's doing with that money that he's saving from not paying all the rent? He's spending it on the next bitch or spending it on himself. Why you, you ever saw a couple when a man was fly, fly, fly? You ever saw that? And then their woman look a hot mess. And you be like, what the fuck? He got that new Mackage jacket on. You look, you looking a hot mess. You still buying stuff from Nordstrom Rack and you're not even getting the good shit from Nordstrom Rack is because you're sitting there helping him pay his bills and pay the bills. And he's going out with his half of the money that he saved up and went fucking shopping on your raggedy ass. See what I'm saying? So, like I said, if I got to pay half the rent, I'm going to have a homegirl I live with. I got to pay half the rent. I need to stay home with my mama. If I got to pay half the rent, I need to live with a female, somebody I don't have to wake up and fuck all day because I'm tired of sucky and fucky. I'm telling you, honestly, truly, when you sit there and when you sit there and pay half your rent, I don't care what you say. You can lie all you want about, uh-uh, girl, all the women that's independent, throw your hands up at me, shut your ass up and get out of my face with that. Get out of my face. It don't matter how independent you are, because I am one of the most independent soul sisters that come around in these streets. But in the end of the motherfucking day, I'm not paying no rent. I'm not. I'm not paying no mortgage, no rent. I'm not doing it. I'll pay rent on my office. I'll pay that. Because I created that bill. But I'm not paying it. I'm telling you, living with a man is too much work. It's too much work for you to have to pay your motherfucking bills, okay? Meaning like the rent. I Like I said, give me a light bill. Give me that. Give me that. Give me an electric bill. Give me that. Give me that. Give me any motherfucking thing. But I'm not paying the rent. All right? So that's it. I don't care. That is right. She's right. Dream Doll is absolutely right. If you got a man... He should be paying your rent, at least, especially if he lived there. Now, if he don't live there and he just give you a little, like, money towards your rent and he don't live there, but he knows that he be over there, like, two days a week. And don't y'all start with this. Well, he don't live with me. If that motherfucker's over there more than three days a week, he lives there. I don't care if he don't got a closet there. I don't care if he got a drawer there, he lives there. He got a toothbrush there, he lives there. If he got a toothbrush there, he definitely lives there. He got a drawer, he lives there. If he got more than two pairs of shoes over there, he lives there. So therefore, he need to be, take care home. You don't have to worry about your girl. Take care home. Because a lot of y'all women... Y'all like to play in your own face sometimes. Oh, yes. Y'all like to play in your own face sometimes. Y'all like to create imageries around the real fucking truth. So the truth of the matter is, is that he got a toothbrush there. He got a drawer there. He got half of the closet there, but he doesn't live there. In your mind, you create a imagery of, uh, of he doesn't live there. You know, in life... You'll be happier when you keep it real with yourself. When you'll be happier if you keep it real with yourself. And if maybe some of you guys had this debate. Maybe some of these guys, maybe some of y'all was questioning yourself. Like, am I supposed to be paying half of the rent? And guess what? I'm here to tell you. Bitch, you guessing. You ain't supposed to be paying half of no fucking rent. Go live with your homegirl if you got to pay half the rent. Go live by yourself, you got to pay half the rent. That is too much. And I understand, times is hard. We live in New York City and stuff like that. The rent could be $2,200. Don't get that apartment then if he can't afford the rent. That's it. That's all. That's all I got to say. Queen Coach Cooch have left the building. That's it. Don't get mad at me because I know every time I keep it real about some things that y'all don't like to hear, y'all want to get mad. But be happy that I am a, a coach. 
That's what I'm here for. To coach your ass to stop making these dumb ass motherfucking um, decisions. Now, I'm going to say, if his money's funny, like he been paying the rent and everything like that, his money's funny. That This is not fun when your money's funny. All right? Because back in the day when my man money was funny or my money was funny, I didn't expect those things. If his money get funny, because sometimes your money get funny no matter how much money you make. But what I'm trying to say is when his money's right, the way it's supposed to be going, everybody, everybody going the right way, then make sure that you are getting your rent paid at least. There's no reason for you to be living with a man and he's not paying all the rent. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not even going to hold you. I know everybody be like, well, it sounds so good, but that's not how it go down. That's fine, but that needs to be your goal. If that's not what is the situation right now, then that needs to be your goal. And if your man don't have enough money to pay the rent, it's okay. It's time to get a second job. First of all, see, y'all make, making this a longer subject than it's supposed to be, but let me explain something to you. When it comes down to women, when we can't afford shit, we go and get us a side hustle. Whether it's sell cupcakes, whether we got to go ahead and babysit, or whether we got to do... Uh, chores whatever we gotta do even some women i know um some women i know are housekeepers on the side and this is just real talk when we don't got it women when we don't got it especially black women we don't got it we go out there and get it and i'm sorry i know i can speak that for me and every black woman i know they're gonna take on some extra hours they're gonna take on, on a side job they're gonna take on a side business they're going to sell more products that day. It's going to be something that they're going to step their game up because they can't afford their lifestyle. They're going to find a way to afford it. The same pressures that we put on ourselves, and this is real talk, the same pressures that we are putting on ourselves, we need to put on these motherfucking men. All right? All right. He might not have a job where he can afford the rent, and you're just happy he's working. But you got to stop putting yourself in the mindset of, I'm happy he's working. I'm just happy he got a job. That's some that's some real poor mindset. That's some real poor mindset. Honestly, truly, it's a poor mindset because in the end of the day, that's what makes these dudes not built for overtime. That's what makes them not built for overtime because we're not putting the pressure. And the only race of, of women that don't put pressure on a men are black women because they feel like, oh, at least he's working. First of all, motherfucker, you grown. Your ass better work. I'm not giving... No motherfucker a biscuit for something they supposed to be doing. You grown? You over 18 years old? You supposed to work. I'm not impressed. My four-year-old son helps me work. Sending out all of those um those um packages. My son put those fragile stickers on each of those packages. He's four years old. I got pictures to prove it. Because he's learning at four years old that you got to work to eat. I'm not raising no bitch ass son that think that, oh, my mother and father, they getting money. So I'm good. I ain't got to do shit. My son, when you see him at four years old. And yeah, my sister said able body. Exactly. Able body. You are able body. Y'all got to stop giving people credit for like the absolute bare minimum. Y'all talk about all those other races. All those other races, they, they men take care of them. Even if it's something broke. Even if it's like, oh, I don't work, I don't, I don't, I don't work, I, 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 I. guess what? They don't work because they man take care of them. They don't work. That's why. Black women, we got to work, overwork, do overtime, get a side business, take care of the kids, and pay half of the rent. You got me fucked up. Period. So, like I said, y'all can debate all y'all want. And, I, and please, contact me. DM me. I would love to hear what you got to say in case you didn't want to say what you got to say um, during now, I would love to hear what you got to say. But in the reality of it is, is that women, we're not supposed to be doing all this work when we live with men. If we live by ourselves, we're supposed to be doing all this work. But when you live with a man, a man got to be a man. If he don't got his that money in his first job, he got to be able to get it when he gets his side job. You know, cutting hair is a good side business. Maybe you should cut hair. Anyway, so let's move on.